Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really easy half apron. It's a great beginner's project to get started with if you're learning how to sew. It takes about a half a yard of fabric for most people. I've even put pockets on it so that if you like your pockets you can place them anywhere on the apron that you like in any direction. And I'm using double fold bias tape on the top edge. I've also got it lined on the back so you can make it two different themes. You can have Easter on one side, Fourth of July on the other, or Thanksgiving and Christmas. Whatever you decide. Okay, let's get started. I'm making just a standard half apron and I'm going to give you a few tips along the way on how to customize it to yourself. But if you're making this for someone else and you don't know their measurements, this is kind of a standard length and fit for that. So it's about a half a yard of fabric. When you buy your fabric, it is folded with this, both selvage edges at one end. So you want to cut both edges straight and you're going to cut them 16 inches apart. So cut this one straight, move over 16 inches, cut this straight. Then turn your fabric and from the fold line go down 16 inches and cut the selvage ends off. Now I'm using lining on the back side or you can make it a two-sided apron. You can have one theme of fabric on one side and a different theme on the other. This is both Christmas fabrics but with different prints. So you would cut your lining out exactly the same way. Then you would bring front sides together. That's the pretty sides. Now the two bottom corners you're going to round them. So take anything that's round and take the a round object and when you you go down just a little bit, not too much, or if you want it super rounded you could come up more. But I didn't want too much. And then draw a line and then cut that little corner off. And you do it again at the two bottom corners. And then when you're done, go ahead and pin everything together and then stitch a one quarter inch seam along the two sides and along the bottom edge. At the two bottom corners, you want to go in and do clips along the curved edge. And the reason for doing this is it's going to make the corner lay a lot nicer. Now you're going to reach inside and turn it front side out. And while you're turning it front side out, push against those bottom corners and the seams to get it all pushed out correctly. Then you want to go to your ironing board and iron this flat. Now I'm going to show you how to customize it a little bit to fit different body types. So for instance, let's look at this one. If you have a body type where you consider yourself straight up and down, in other words, you don't have a definite curve line as far as going in and coming out, then you can just leave the fabric just like it was. You've stitched it together and you're ready to finish off the top edge. But if you have a shape that's curvy, in other words, you come in and then you go out uh, your hips come out wider than your waistline. Then I want to give this little suggestion. So after we've finished it and you've got it turned front side out, here's the raw edges up here at the top. Do a large basting stitch. Then at each end you're going to pull on the top thread and push the fabric in towards the center to gather it right up a little bit so that it will come in at the waist a little bit and easily fit around your hips. If you don't do this, it's not going to lay very nice on your body. Now this is bias tape and it's half inch wide double fold. So it means it's already folded in towards the center and then it's folded again. So this is what I'm going to use up at the top edge. Now 
When it's folded, pay attention to the edge here that's not folded. On one side, the edge will not quite meet the edge of the other side, and that's got a purpose to it. So the shorter edge is the edge that comes up on the top side of your apron. So as you can see here, this top layer is, doesn't come all the way to the edge of the other one. So when you put this bias tape onto the apron, you're gonna stitch close to this edge on the top side. So you wanna measure across your apron, which is gonna be roughly maybe 31, 32 inches across this way. You wanna cut your bias tape longer than that. So one package of bias tape is pretty much gonna fit any average size person. You wanna make sure that the part that's gonna tie in the back is much longer. So you're probably gonna want anywhere to add 20 to 25 inches more. Once you decide on the length you need, then open the bias tape up and insert it inside like this and fold it over. And then you can pin it down. I like to use clips, those little sewing clips, and I use those to hold it in place. The pins have a tendency to distort it and it kind of gets out of whack a little bit. So I like the clips better. So then you would start way at this end down here. And at this end, you're gonna fold it over about a quarter of an inch, fold it again, and then begin stitching along this edge all the way down across the apron and out to the other side. Now many of you probably like pockets, so I'm gonna show you how to make the pockets. They're really easy. You wanna cut two seven inch squares, one for the front or the outside and one for the inside. And you're gonna bring those two squares together, front sides, pretty sides together, okay? Place pins all around. And then this is my starting position and this is my ending position where the two pins are. So then go ahead and start here, back stitch, go all the way around one quarter inch, and then back stitch at the two pins. Then when you're done, you wanna cut a little bit of the fabric off at each corner, all four corners. Then reach inside this little hole and begin turning it front side out. After you finish turning them front side out, you wanna make sure you poke the corners out. Uh, either go in with your finger and push against it or take like a little chopstick and push those corners out. Then you wanna place the edge where the opening is down at the bottom. And then figure out exactly where you want your pockets placed. So you might want to put it on and see where your hands land. I like mine going at an angle. You might want them straight up and down. So it's really up to you. Once you've got it figured out, then go ahead and place pins around three edges. Remember the edge that was down here, the opening edge, is down at the bottom and you have those raw edges tucked inside of the seam of the pocket. Then you're going to start up at one corner and back stitch and stitch all the way around close to the edge and then back stitch again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. I also hope you try making one of these. It's a nice beginner's project. I'm sure when you were in your junior high school homemaking class, they started you out with a project very similar to this. Now, if you're interested in other beginner sewing projects, then go below your YouTube screen in the description section. When you scroll down, click on the words show more and that will expand open and you will see the links appearing. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the 
best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.